what's up YouTube Yax, it's your boy Daddy Easy here, aka Crash Override, otherwise known as iPod Jailbreak Hacker. Now, I was going to do this video anyway, somebody had already hit me up on a comment about it, I was going to do it anyway. Basically, um, as you can see, I'm on Windows 7, and as you see on the title, it says how to get your PS3 controller working on Windows 7, or if you're still having problems, um, I'm going to show you how to do this. So, let's begin. Let me just throw out everything that's in my recycling bin real quick. Okay, so let's begin. I'm going to go to my data drive where the folder and files is actually in. <clears throat> okay, once you inside your data files, I mean, sorry, once you get to the um, program that you downloaded from the description, which is this. Now, some of y'all already had this pro um, program and was having problems with this. What it said, the um, lib USB 132. Basically, the problems what you was having is you didn't read the um, what I told you to do in this description right here. It says read me, must read before installing. Um, a lot of y'all haven't read that, so y'all really didn't know what to do if you had problems. So the first thing you want to do is install the lab USB 132 then after you install that you want to install the PS3 Sinus onto it now only time you use this driver if you can't get your joystick to work at all so let me demonstrate go to control panel actually I'm sorry I'm sorry I control panel um, if you're using Windows 7, you want to go to Devices and Prints. Just give it a few seconds. Mine just takes some time. Okay, if you're on Windows 7, you should see all your devices that's actually connected and you should know what to use. So, let's go back. And because I'm using Windows 7, I'm just going to do this. That makes it easier for me to show you exactly what I'm doing. Okay. On the right side, you see you install this program and you install this program. Now, once that's inside, you want to get this that pops up. Once all your programs are inside, install your PS3 controller into your PC. Once it's inside, you just see up it says PS3 controller. Go on it, right click. Go to control settings. Now right here, you want to see what it says PS3 controller. Go to advantage. Now if PS3 is not on it, if you don't see this, just click on here and just click on the one that says PS3. If you don't see nothing here, it's going to say none. Like I said, just go here, click on it, and click on PS3 controller, and click OK. Now you want to go to properties. Now, if you go to properties and you don't see nothing moving, I saw like on this one, what you want to do is cancel. Now, what you want to do is go here. Now, this is the part you're supposed to read if y'all got this program before. So, let me try to put it back. As you can see, here's me writing, telling you exactly what to do if it doesn't work. Now, if it's freezing, everything's not working, nothing is working, the joystick won't show up. Just read the README, and this is the next thing you want to do. Install a driver. Once the driver is installed, you want to get a program like this. Um, let me look for it real quick. Just give me a second so I can look for that program. Where is it? Okay, mine should be right here. Okay, now if you get this program right here saying it's missing, blah 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 from your computer, please want to install. Don't worry about it. Install this program right here. And I'm going to install it right now. Just to show you that it works. Click OK. Click next, next, next. You can create it to desktop, create a quick launch icon. So I'm going to create a quick launch. Install it. You want to launch it. 
Once you launch it, now right here where it says load driver, click on it. It's going to load the driver and you're done. Exit. Once you exit, go back to PS3 controller. Right click on it. Game controller settings. Now you, everything's alright. Go back to properties. Now as you can see, everything is right. Now the way how you know that your joystick is active, once you plug in the USB into the own um, PC and you plug up the your USB cord into your own um, PS3 joystick and if your lights are still flashing all four lights are still flashing if it's still flashing the drive hasn't been um, installed once the drive is installed and the joystick joystick is up and running you want to notice all the lights cut off on the joystick and you'll be able to see this when you go to your test it and that's all you need to do to run this program so subscribe comment rate tell me what happened when you did this if you have any more problems let me know and i'll try to make another video and show you basically what to do it's your boy daddy easy aka crash over otherwise known as ipod jailbreak hacker and i'll holla at y'all later One.